Hey guys, so as you can tell, or you might be able to tell, this is a different format than I normally film my videos. I was just getting ready for the day because I'm having a family Christmas today and I just felt like talking and talking about my speech and my stutter and I was thinking who's the best person to talk to and that would be you guys who all probably have a stutter or know somebody with a stutter. So yeah, um, I just wanted to talk about that and Christmas and everything that comes along with that. So, I'm going to be doing my makeup while talking and hopefully you don't mind me doing my, my makeup at the same time. Yeah, putting on some bronzer if you care to know. <laughs> so, during these times like Christmas, Halloween, sometimes, and and Easter and my birthday. Those are all times that are very exciting and it normally makes my stutter a lot worse. Like for a while my stutter was actually pretty good as in it was it wasn't bad. Wow, that I just contradict, contradicted exactly what what I said, but my stutter was not very n noticeable and I was talking a lot especially at work and to my co co co-workers and stuff but honestly when it comes to Christmas time and there's a lot of people around my stutter gets significantly worse and it can be pretty hard to deal with especially when I'm in the middle of a block. Um, like when I'm um, talking to a family member and then I get in the, middle, uh, in the middle of a block, that can be very kind of embarrassing, but, but at the same time, I know that they're my family and they understand and they're not going to think of me in a different way. So I'm trying my, my best to stay positive. Um, as much as I can, especially because cr Christmas time is a happy t t time and you spend it with people that you love and it's just a fun experience, I guess. So yeah, um, and, and also I wanted to give an update about my... Um, schooling and job life <laughs> so um i was going to be going to school n next year to be to be a, <laughs> a speech th therapy therapy oh my gosh <laughs> a speech therapy assistant but the program that i was going to go to actually got cancelled which I was so upset about I cried because I was so excited about it and the reason why I wanted to go to that specific school was because it's only an hour away while all of the other schools that 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 offer that pr program were in Oh my gosh, we're in Toronto, which is a f f four hour drive from where I l live. And because I'm such a homebody and I love being at home and around my f family, that kind of was not an option in my mind. I know that it would probably be a good experience, but I just would not want to go that far. So instead, I applied 
for a job as an ECE, as you can tell, an ECE. <laughs> so I have applying. So I applied for a job at a school, and I'm excited about that. Um, I actually did a placement at that school, so they said that I will most l likely get a job, which I'm excited about. Um, and then I think that if they offer the program again at that school, then I'll go there for speech again. So yeah, that's an update on my job and c c career l life. Man, it's actually pretty annoying to be completely honest that my stutter has been so bad because um, it was so good for a while and now it's really bad and it's such a difference but I know that as soon as this time is over that my stutter will hopefully get better. Oh my gosh, I'm actually shaking a little bit because I haven't talked to a camera in, in a long time. Um, and it's a little bit scary. <laughs> I'm actually doing a vlog about my Christmas on my other ch ch channel. So if you guys want to see that, then make sure you're subscribed to my other channel. And I'm also going to be doing a video where I talk about what I got for Christmas. Oh my gosh. M m mascara can be annoying sometimes. Oh yeah, and basically if you're wondering why I took a break, it was kind of because, well, f firstly, because I had a placement and the placement was such a busy time. So basically I was working a full-time job, basically. So a placement, you work for it, for, 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 oh my gosh. At a placement, you, you work and, and, oh, I can't speak. You work an eight hour shift every day, um, Monday to Friday, but you're not actually getting paid. It's mostly for the experience of working in the, in that job. So I was doing that, but at the same time, since it was a school assignment, the placement, we had a bunch of stuff to do that coordinated with the job experience. So it was just such a busy time and I literally could not find a time to film and plan a video. It was so busy. So that's firstly why I took a break. And then after that, I just couldn't think of what I wanted to f film because I I wasn't super ha happy with what I was uplo uploading and I kind of want to ch ch change up the content a little bit. I think I might focus a lot on mental health more um, and ways to improve that because obviously stuttering is um it's it has the annoyances of having a stutter but also there's so much that goes on psychologically so i think i want to make videos that have to do with the mental side of having a stutter and improving that because i feel like sorry i'm looking for a brush I feel like if we improve the mental health side of a stutter, that we can really overall improve the, the stutter and improve our lives. Our lives? I'm sorry, whenever I'm, I, I stutter a lot, my sentences and words just aren't the best. So yeah, I'm sorry about that. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the, this more chill version of of a video and l and let me know if you would enjoy videos like th th this in the future. 
I hope that you are all having a great Christmas and holiday season. Um, make sure to l let me know in the comments what you would like me to talk about in the future. And yeah, so I will see you very, very soon. <laughs> Bye.